G'day folks, it's Rico here from the Off-Road Adventure Show and today we're going to talk about recovery basics. Now before we get into the specific gear that we're going to talk about, we need to know what recovery gear is. If you're new to four-wheel driving, chances are you're going to get stuck and don't worry, that's half the fun, it happens to all of us. But when you do get stuck, you're going to need some very specialised equipment to help you get out of trouble and back on the track and that's what recovery gear is. So what is the essential bits of gear that you should never ever hit the tracks without? Well, number one on my list is a snatch strap. A snatch strap is basically a device that's used to join two vehicles and it essentially pulls the vehicle that's bogged out of that bog. Make sure that you follow the link below and we'll show you exactly how you use that. Now, when it comes to snatch straps, you're faced with a couple of choices. You've got typically an eight ton or an 11 ton strap. Now, if you've got a smaller vehicle like uh, a Wrangler, a Vitara, something mid-size, the eight ton's gonna be more than enough. And to be honest, this will work on most vehicles anyway. But if you're going to be towing a camper trailer or something similar, definitely take a look at an 11 ton strap. The next item that I will never head off road without are a couple of rated bow shackles. And these are so I can attach my snatch strap to the vehicle safely. Now, not all shackles are created equal. What you're looking for in a bow shackle is a rating. And that's either a WLL or an SWL, which is working load limit or safe working limit. Now, for most four-wheel drives, a 4.75 or four and three-quarter ton shackle is going to do the job. However, if you do have a smaller truck, you can go with the smaller 3.2 ton shackles. Another item that I'll never ever head off-road without is a proper rear recovery point. Now, the golden rule of using a snatch strap is that you never ever put this loop over a tow ball. That is an absolute recipe for disaster. What I like to use is what we call a receiver hitch. Now this comes fitted with a 4.75 tonne bow shackle and that'll go into most 50 mil receivers like your Heyman Reese or your genuine Toyota or Nissan bars. Here at the Off-Road Adventure Show we're very big on safety. So the next item on our list of essentials is a recovery damper. Now the recovery damper is designed to sit on your snatch strap or your winch cable and the event of a failure it helps to bring everything straight to the ground therefore minimising the risk to you. If you'd like to see how to use this properly, make sure you check out our clip on snatch straps. One thing that you'll soon learn once you start four-wheel driving is that tyre pressures are absolutely critical when you head off-road. Getting the tyre pressures correct is not only going to make life easy on your four-wheel drive, it's also going to make life easy for your tyres themselves. It's going to minimise the chance of getting a puncture, it's going to make sure that you maximise your tyre life, and more importantly, it's going to be a whole lot easier on the environment. That's why I always take a tyre pressure gauge so I can adjust my tyre pressures to suit the conditions. Well, the last item on our list of essential gear that you should never hit the tracks without is a pair of sturdy gloves. Now, you should wear these all the time when you're doing any sort of a recovery situation, from shackles to snatch straps to winching. So that's the essential gear that you should never, ever head off-road without. But what if you're going to be going bush by yourself? Without a second vehicle there, a snatch strap isn't going to be much good to you. That's when winches come into their own. Now, when you go to buy a winch, you're going to be presented with a couple of options. You can get a cable or you can get a synthetic rope on your winch. It doesn't matter which one you go with, you're going to need some accessories to make the most of it. And the first thing that you're going to need is a tree trunk protector. A tree trunk protector is going to provide you with a good, safe, solid anchor point to winch from. The golden rule is never ever run your winch cable around a tree. Even if it's synthetic rope, you're going to damage the tree and chances are you may damage your cable or your rope as well. Another item that you're going to want to take in your winching kit is a winch extension strap. Now you don't want to confuse this with a snatch strap. They are two very different beasts. A snatch strap is designed to stretch and recoil. A winch extension strap has no stretch in it whatsoever. And it's perfect for those times when the winch cable just isn't quite long enough to get to where you need to go. A handy item to keep in your winching kit is what we call a snatch block. Now this is ideal for changing direction of the line pull of the winch or perhaps even doubling up to give the winch a bit of a breather in some really tough situations. Make sure you check out our advanced winching techniques where we show you exactly how to use this. The last thing we'll throw in our winching kit is an extra recovery damper and maybe a few extra bow shackles just in case we need to perform an advanced recovery. Now if I'm going to be heading into the sand, I'll take with me a set of Max Tracks. Now the reason that I'll take these is they're a great tool for a quick and easy self recovery and I'll also always take a shovel, whether it's something compact like that or a long-handled shovel, it's always a great thing to have on the beach. Now, if you'd like information on any of the recovery gear or some recovery techniques, make sure you check out our website at offroadadventureshow.com.au.